episode of Pokemon Storm Silver Nuzlocke. So I'm gonna, first of all, apologize if I sound absolutely terrible. Um, I recently just got really sick, and I didn't want to just, like, keep you guys out in the cold waiting for an episode. So I'm mustering all the strength I can. Actually, I want to go... Let's register the bike right quick. Mastering all the strength I can, strength and energy, to uh, get this to you. Because if you guys didn't know, this 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 series is only uploaded uh, twice a week. So missing once, one of those two uploads a week is kind of kind of big. And I'm I don't know. I just try to keep the schedule on our, our like regimented, and I feel like I've I've done a pretty good job of that. Um, but before we uh, head into Sprout Tower today. I do want to come down here and get an encounter in Cherry Grove, because we forgot to do that. And the Old Rod can get us a few things that are not just a Magikarp. Which is pretty, pretty awesome. Alright, so. Let's see what we get as our encounter here. Alright, alright. What we get, what we get. Corvish. Corvish, Corvish. All right. I I am very okay with this. Azula doesn't want to be in here, and neither does Gladys. So Boris, just come out here and hit it with a tackle or something. But uh, just a heads up: if there are some weird cuts or like or just in awkward places, um, it's because I I'm saving you guys from listening to my gross noises. <laughs> um, just like that. Uh, because I, I don't, I'm sure you guys don't want to hear all the, all the gross noises I'm making because I'm sick. Um, I don't get sick very often. I get sick maybe once every other year or longer than that. I cannot even remember the last time I've been, I was sick. Um, but just because I don't get sick very often does not make it any less miserable. But I'm powering through, I'm powering through for you guys. We caught this core fish. Uh, I don't think I've ever used a Corvish or a Crod on any of my LPs, so this this could be cool. Corvish, the ruffian Pokemon, it was originally a Pokemon from afar that escaped to the wild. It can adapt to the dirtiest river. Hmm, it's a male Corvish. Um, I don't know. This is the only thing that's coming to mind, and uh, because like Crod Daunt, like he's daunting, which makes me think of Dante. <laughs> It's like now featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. All right, so Corfish, let's let's have a look at our at our new Corfish here. It's a quirky nature, which is neutral, and it just has bubble, nothing else. Okay. Um, I don't. I mean, Gladys has the XP share right now. Mm, but we do have shell armor, so that is really good. Let's put let's put Dante up front. And let's heal up right quick as we're moving back, because I wanted... The goal for today is to at least... Um, at least take out Sprout Tower. Oh boy, okay. We should be fine on this route. I say should. We're actually doing, like, no damage. Okay, we didn't get poisoned. Gladys hit level 9. Like, once Gladys gets a rock move, I'll probably take the experience share off of her. But until then, she's she's gonna need some some help. Okay, foresight. Oh, come on, Dante. Alright. Slowly but surely, we making it. We making it. Sorry for, for the speed of button, but I wanna make sure we, we get back here as fast as possible. We got a spinner rack. Oh god. That hurt. Okay, uh, Azula, get out here. Dante needs needs some some assistance. There we go. Oh my God, speed up button, making me miss the damn the damn thing. Okay. So now let's let's go heal up again. Oh, let's go heal up again. And now. We can actually get an encounter here as well, uh, because, you know, fish and rod. So, let's, let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Not even a nibble. I think there are three things you can get with the old rod. And, you know, dupes and species claws do take into effect here. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Fish, get get on get on the rod. There we go. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Hey, Poliwag. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, female Poliwag. Uh, it's level 10 as well. I don't know if I want a Poliwag or, or a Corefish on the team. Because with Poliwag, we can get either a Polywrath or a Politoad. Both of which could be pretty cool. Um, let's go into Boris. Water sport, all right. Hit him up with that tackle. Oh my god. Uh, no, let's just, let's just throw a Pokeball. Calm down, Boris, calm down. Let's see if we can nab this Poliwag. I don't know, I mean, last time I used a Poliwag, or well, it was a Poly. Wrath. It was in our Fire Red Omega Avatar mode uh, run, and that's I think that's the only time I've ever used a Poliwag, and it was er, it was female, so might as well name it after that one, right? Uh, the tadpole Pokemon. The direction of its belly spirals differ. Of its belly spiral differs by area. The equator is thought to have an effect on this. All right, so I named that. Uh, that one, Cora, because Polyrath is kind of kind of angry, but that would that would only make sense for Polyrath, not not a Polytoad. But hey, we'll we'll rock out with it. We'll rock out with it. Uh, let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. Another quirky nature. This one is damp. Oh, that could be really good. No exploding. Hmm. And it also has hypnosis. If you guys have any preference, let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, if, if you want to see Corefish or do you want to see a Poliwag? Because for now, we're just going to put. Poly oh. We're just going to put Poliwag in the PC. Decent backup Pokemon along with our, our Charmander. And we're gonna head on in to Sprout Tower. We're gonna get an encounter there and um, see see if we can't uh, get get a nice nice dent in things here. Also get some items here. It'll be it'll be all kinds of good. All right, got a trainer. Uh, oh, they're all gonna have Bell Sprouts. Why why am I leading with Corefish? This is like the worst lead. Sun Curve. That's not a Bell Sprout, but still, not uh, not a Pokemon that Dante wants to deal with. So she probably just Dante hit level seven. Learned Harden. Oh my God! <laughs> and a Bell Sprout. And Azula is just gonna power through all of these. Gladys is level ten. Oh Ralts. That's not a Grass type, but hey, let's just get rid of this guy. Okay. Oh, that's that's Pokedex. That's Pokedex guy. Okay. Let's put Azula up front. Cause Dante is not gonna be able to do like anything here. I wanna say Rock Throw is level eleven, so one more level for Gladys. But again, Sprout Tower. Uh Dante's probably not gonna use Oh Joey wants to call us. What what does Joey have to say for us? Good evening, Boulder to me, Joey, were you awake? Oh well, yeah, I saw a wild low tad. I thought about going for him, but then I failed. Oh well. I guess that's just the way it goes. Not very good at catching Pokemon. He's just in distress. That he could have had a Lotad, but no. No. No Lotad for Joey. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to show respect for all Pokemon. All right. All right. Respect. So you have three Pokemon. Of course, another uh, Bell Sprout. Level nine. So levels, as you can see, are. Starting to catch up with us fairly quickly, but luckily Azula's got that power. Hitting level 11. 
at magnitude. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's time, Azula. It's time. There's Rock Throw. I knew it was level 11. Uh, let's get rid of Mud Sport. Just so we still have Tackle if, if we need to use that. And a Poliwag. Okay, Boris. Azula does not want any part of this port, Poliwag. So get in here for me. And uh, destroy this thing. The nice Razor Leaf. I'm really surprised we didn't get a Magikarp. I'm really surprised. Like, out of the three things we can get, I'm pretty sure... Like, Magikarp is the most common, and we got Poliwag and Gorefish from the old rod. There we go. Boris destroying lives. And an Execute. Okay, Azula, get back in here. And Boris can handle it, but it would just go a lot faster if Azula was just, would just clean it up. Make some, make some, make some nice breakfast. Level 9 Execute. What moves does it execute even have a level like reflect? That's annoying. But luckily we are special, so it don't matter none. It wouldn't really matter anyway, considering how low HP he was at. Alright, Glad is hitting level 12. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch up oh, not that's that's not what I wanted. Item Take that, give it to Dante. Here we are. Alright, up we go. We still have not gotten our encounter here. I got a nice X accuracy. And, oh, first encounter is... A Glamiao. Interesting. I've never used a Glamiao in my life. Um, let's hit it with a tackle. I don't know how bulky or not bulky these things are. Okay, let's hit it with an Ember. Fake out. What? Okay, well, having fake out is gonna be really useful. Uh, let's throw a Pokeball so we don't accidentally kill it. But, I mean, a fake out poke, I don't know what abilities Glamio has. Rugly is, is kind of kind of beefy. So, I mean, bulk. Bulk in Dreano's world is uh, very, very good. We don't have any potions. Ooh. That's not good. I thought we had potions. We need to leave. Come on, Glammy out. Hey, all right. So we caught a Glammy out. Um, this Pokemon is beyond me. Like I don't, I don't know anything about this Pokemon. It's the Caddy Pokemon. When it's happy, Glammy out demonstrates beautiful movements of its tail, like a dancing ribbon. So, um, I mean, it's female. I have two cats. Uh, I mean, and one of them's brown, one of them's gray, so I guess we'll name it after the gray one. His name is Sage. I don't really like the name my sister my sister named that cat. But we're gonna we're gonna go with it anyway. <laughs> okay. So let's look at Sage here. Uh level eleven. Quirky na what is with all these quirky natures? That's the third quirky nature in a row. Fake out, scratch, growl, and bite has limber. I was hoping technician. Technician would be lovely. But we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. We're gonna we're gonna Sanic speeds. Cause no potions is is very dangerous. Stunky. Why do I feel like Stunky's gonna have pursuit? It does not. Okay. Rock throw. And boom. Alright, good job. Good job, Gladys. So Stunky and Glammeows are in here now. Interesting. In the original game, I think it's just like Rattatas, Hoot Hoots. Um, I think there's a chance for actual Bell Sprouts in there. I can't remember. Um, but then there is also uh, Gaslies, which would have been awesome because I do remember uh, Gasly gets Ominous Wind very early in this game. Okay. Um. Let's put Sage up front. Let's let's see what Sage can do. Why not? I welcome this this 
interesting Pokemon. I welcome it. Let's see uh, if there's a good reason why I've never used one or not. <laughs> let's let's go and battle this guy. I sway like leaves in the wind. Do you now? Good for you, man. Good for you. You have three Pokemon as well. You're gonna start off with a Mareep. We're gonna catch this static. We did not catch the static. Awesome. Let's hit him up with that bite. You know? I mean, three at KO on a Mareep. Being one level higher than it. That's not a three at KO. There we go. We didn't catch that static at all. Hoot Hoot wants to come in. Uh, let's go into Gladys. Hit him up with that rock throw. Air Cutter. So Hoot Hoot has Air Cutter this early. Okay. That can be scary because uh, crit chance can get blown away by a nasty uh, critical air cutter. But Gladys does not care. Gladys is just like, you, you want to throw a hoot hoot at me? Bring it. And potish. So let's go into Azula. And Ember. Oh, you live. Look at you. Dante hit level 9. And up we go. Okay, so grab this item. Got a nice potion. We left, and I did not buy potions. I'm just gonna cut, give me a second. That's ridiculous. All right, so I have nine potions. I just used one, actually. Uh, three paralyzed heals and three antidotes, so I think I think we are good to go. So let's let's start fighting these guys. We got three normal monks, and one, the, we got the head, the Grand Master Monk. I don't know what his actual title is, but this man, Start with level 12 Bellsprout. All right. Um, let's see. Okay. I mean, Fake Out is so nice. I'm going to really enjoy using that. And we get the flinch from Bite. Oh, my God. Flinch is on. Flinch is on. Flinch is on. Flinch is Oh. Okay. Okay. We can live another one. Uh, will this kill? This does kill, so we don't have to worry about it. Woo! Alright. Also, Dante did level up, uh, while I was running back. He has learned a Vice Grip! He is level 10. Let's see. Nice Vice Grip there. Which is gonna be a lot more useful than Bubble, because he's a physical attacker, and not a special attacker. The Elder's TM lights even pitch black darkness. So he gives us Flash. Don't remember that, but hey. This guy has three Pokemon. Uh, the lead off with a Psyduck. Okay, okay. Of course, we're gonna start off with a Fake Out. Why would we not? Okay, okay. Let's go for a Bite. Mmm. Oh, oh! Sage coming through. Can hit us with that Water Gun. We got this. We got this, right? Yeah, we got this. Bite it again. Get this Psyduck out of here. With the crit. Crit did not matter. I knew his spread. We're hitting level 12. Okay, okay, okay. And Dante hitting level 11. His experience share is awesome. Not to. I would, I, I would stay in, but at 9 HP, ooh, I'm not confident that we're going to one-shot it with a bite. I mean, it is just a not to, but... Mm, better to be safe than sorry. We're gonna we're gonna switch out here into Gladys. Does outspeed. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that, that does all way, way too much. We're gonna hit it with this rock throw. It does one-shot it, thankfully. Okay, and what is your final Pokemon? A Bulbasaur. Alright, alright. I see you. I see you with your your starter. You must have talked to the guy in the Pokemon Center and pick Bulbasaur. That's fine. That's fine. We got Ember. We got we got uh, we got that Bulbasaur counter. And hit us with the tackle. And now you die. Get up out. Get up out. Okay. Sage Neil has been defeated. There's my head that is bright. I mean, you're bald, so you're not wrong. Okay, so we got this, and we got, we see our rival up there. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. 
I mean, I trust him. I trust him fairly, fairly well. I, I would say. You have four Pokemon. Oh god, and an Abra. Why do I feel like Abra has more than just teleport in this game? Something is telling me, Dryanol gave Abra attacks. Oh my god, I did so much. But we outspeed, so we're not gonna find out if Abra has any attacks, which I am, I am okay with. I do not want to take damage from an Abra. Dante growing to level 12. And a Hoot Hoot. Um, let's go into... <laughs> Azula is now our lowest level. Crazy. Crazy. But I like that our team is pretty evenly leveled right now. We're not just favoring like one person over the other. But we got this Hoot Hoot. It's gonna air cutter us. Even a crit would not matter from an air cutter at this point. Yeah. Look at that. Five damage. Get out. Gladys, please. I know, I know in your old age, eyesight, eyesight gets difficult, but you can't just be missing. That's how you die. There you go. There you go. Get this hoot hoot out of here. Almost level 13 and Execute is coming in. Uh, let's go to Sage. Execute is psychic. We'll, we'll hit it up with that fake out. Finish it off with a bite. Take a bite out of them eggs. out. Let's see how much damage this is gonna do. Okay, uh, not as much as I had hoped it would do. It's super effective. Okay, mm. Oh, but we get the flinches. We get those flinches. One more. Do we get another flinch? Nope. Mega Drain. Oh my god, why does, why does an Execute have Mega Drain already? Oh my god, how much is that gonna do? Okay, thankfully did not do a whole lot, so this bite will be enough to take it out. That scared me. That really scared me. I, mean, I know it's not Giga Drain, but still, Mega Drain at level 12 is is pretty pretty intimidating. Dante, growing to level 13, wants to learn Leer, or no, just straight up did learn Leer. We're gonna see a Hopip come in here. Um, who wants to deal with a Hopip? I guess Azula. I mean, Sage could probably deal with a Hopip, but let's get Azula in here because I don't know what kind of what kind of stab moves this Hopip is gonna have. So I don't, I do not want to take any unnecessary risks. It had tail whip. Wonderful. <laughs> and Ember, bop. Hop it is kill. And does that get Azula to level 12? It does. Azula joining the level 12 crew. And Sage Troy has been defeated. We got one more person to fight. Let's heal ourselves up before we go into that. Just to be on the safe side. Because who knows what this dude's gonna have and what level they're gonna be. Let's find out. You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this elemental stone. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. What's happening? Hmm. <laughs> he calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to the Snack God. And so I use the escape room. Guess we can go nab that item up. Bidoof. I'm gonna just run. It's an escape rope. All right. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. All right. So we got Elder Lee with four Pokemon. He's gonna lead off with a Bell Sprout, level 12. Okay. Okay. So far, level 12 is fine. I, why do I feel like he's gonna have a level 15 though? That's that's what what kind of scares me here. I'm glad we outspeed. Definitely glad we outspeed. And we're getting these flinches saved. Oh my god. Flinch on flinch on flinch. Oh, you have cut. Why do you have cut? Okay, that that did a lot more than I had wanted it to. Okay, okay. But that does get Sage to level 13. And let's learn hypnosis. Oh my god, you can learn hypnosis? Hell yes. 
All right. And a chingling. All right. Um. I feel like Jingling can do can do the work to Sage, even though we have Bite. I I don't want to. I mean, I've been in enough of Kenny's free for alls to know that Jingling is a threat. It shouldn't be a threat, but it's a threat. Okay, yeah, that that hurts. Gets his Vice Grip. Oh, that did not do nearly as much as I had hoped it would. All right. Uh, let's go, Dante. We got this. We got this. Uh, let's go to Boris. I feel like we're, we're gonna need Boris for this. Because we should have the special defense. Astonish? Really? Alright. All you do you, Chingling. You do you. It outspeeds. And we eat that up. <sighs> Boris... Boris! Uproar! Oh no. Oh. This better kill. This better kill! Oh my god, Boris, thank you. Uproar is scary. And a Hoot Hoot. Alright, alright. Hoot Hoot, we can deal with a Hoot Hoot. Gladys is here. Gladys has been killing birds all the way throughout this tower. We can take out another oh, level 14. Oh, okay, okay, Gladys. Got to Oh, and has confusion. Okay, okay. Gladys can take another one. Gladys can take another one. Oh, but we don't need to because we got the grit, Gladys. Yes, yes. That's Dante grit gets level 14, and Gladys. Yeah, that definitely gets Gladys to level 13. You go, girl. And his final Pokemon, a Cherubi. Hmm, I mean... I guess we'll go into a Zula. I don't know what to do to a Cherubi. If it sets up the sun, that could be good and bad. It depends on what this Cherubi has. We're gonna hit it with an Ember. It's gonna hit us with a Magical Leaf. Okay. Don't kill. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. We can actually take another one of those. Oh, we out speed. Okay, I guess it's a speed tie. Flash. Don't no 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 no. You're not you're not trying to hacks me right now. Azula. Oh wait, we have simple. So that was minus two. <gasps> you monster. Let's get Sage in here. We gotta fake out. We gotta live this magical leaf and we gotta fake out. Come on, Sage. Come on. You got this. You got this. You don't got. Oh my god, a crit. Well, I guess I won't figure out how having a, gl uh, a Perugly is in this series. Death number two. Death number two. Uh, Boris, have a potion. You can eat up a magical leaf, right? Right. Please tell me I'm right. Mornings. Okay. Okay. You need to stop. You need to stop. Let's hit him up with this poison powder. Thank you for landing it, Boris. Thank you. So now we got the residual damage being built up. We've got Morning Sun back to full. This fucking guy. This fucking guy right here. Why? Why? Is it necessary? No, it's not necessary. Oh my god, that does not flash. How much PP does Morning Sun have? Is that a 5 or is that a 10 move? He's used 2. So he either has 3 or 8 left. All right, we're, we're gonna start speeding this up. This is ridiculous. Why did that do so much? Was that a crit? And I just, I, I didn't, I didn't see it because I was speeding up. I feel like that was a crit. Oh my god. Okay, 
Okay, I think. Is this enough? Oh my god. Yes, we land the tackle! Boris does not care about how many times you flash him. Boris is gonna take you down. Hitting level 13. That damn Cherubi. Who would have thought of all things a Cherubi would be the thing to kill a Pokemon? Hmm, the way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Falconer. Let me offer you a reward. Tell me, what is your favorite evolution of Eevee? Personally, my favorite one is Leafeon. But we have Boris. So... Hmm... I don't know if we even get another Eevee in this game, to be honest. So I don't know if there's any point to this. Let me, let me double check something. Okay, so I was just kind of looking up. We do not get another Eevee. So, going for Leafeon. What if we say none? What happens if we say none? Do we just not get anything? Kind of curious about that. But, uh, going for Glaceon, Umbreon, Leafeon, uh, or Espeon would be pointless. Because those are special items that Duran will put in the game specifically for them. So, I guess the, the, the question is, do we want... An electric stone, or I mean a thunderstone, a water stone, or a fire stone. I mean we have a polywag. So a thunder or water stone could could be a thing. Um if we get a Pikachu, we could get a Raichu with a Thunderstone. Flareon. Uh what else of all I mean there's nine tails. I mean there's something down the line that I know about. So I think I'm gonna go for the Thunderstone. Otherwise, I would definitely go for the uh, for the Water Stone. I'm gonna take this as well. This TM containing a move known as Flash will light your way in dark caverns. We got Flash from this old man. Learn and grow from your journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we need to get the hell out of here. I don't want to use the. The escape rope, because we can use that in the ruins of Alf to get uh, some more items. But we're gonna we're gonna speed on out of this that this this here sprout tower, and we're gonna end the episode there. Um, I don't know how long this episode has been with cuts, but it's definitely I, I'm pretty sure it's the longest we've had so far. Um, but hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. We got some uh, some interesting Pokemon for sure. Uh, unfortunately, we did lose one of those Pokemon. <sighs> Fake Out was so handy. Two normal types. Two normal types. Gone. Brandy and Sage. Alright. But again, if, if you want to see Poliwag over Corefish, let me know. Um, otherwise, I think we're gonna we're just gonna rock out with a Corefish. Uh, for the time being. But... Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I apologize if my voice was very annoying because, I don't know, I sound like I'm in a bubble to myself. I don't know if it sounds like I'm in a bubble to you guys. That's just how I feel. But hopefully um, I don't stay sick for too long and I'll be back to my normal self for Thursday's episode. But we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time. <laughs>